I realised after my uh, last video that uh, I didn't mention um, there's a chip with this uh, M4. Uh, I forget what it's called. I don't think I can like fix on that with that. No, no. Uh, but it's uh, it says it's a uh, was any. 5532P whatever that is anyway well, so once you've got all your bits identified you probably want to start to put some bits together uh, and there's lots of people who do it lots of different ways on the internet on YouTube videos but I think the best way to do it is to approach it from a, a perspective of what is your accessibility level to the, the, the components you put on? So if you put big things on, they're going to be in the way of smaller things you want to get in around the side of them. So if you start from the, start from the bottom and work your way up, a lot of people say you'll, you'll work from a, a good angle. And uh, the most sensible thing to start with are the resistors, obviously. So uh, let's like, uh, clear these things away. Yeah. You you probably lose them all over your desk if you're not careful. But a uh, little plastic tray, and I'm just gonna put them on that. This is not. I didn't buy this from anywhere. This is like uh, tomatoes came in this. So I'm gonna put all these uh, other bits and pieces away. It's very boring for you. Let's get other ones. You will come back and you will have like gone, oh no, where's that bit? I oh, know, although you know you sort it all out, um, you know what you know now what each of the bits are. So let's start with some resistors and just like uh, a demonstration of my technique. Um, so uh, let's start with um, I don't know some of these two two twenty two k resistors. So I've already seen there's like one there, one there, one there. I haven't even put my soldering iron on. That's annoying. <laughs> uh, so let's take out. Uh, let's, let's do these three: that one, that one, and that one. And take out those three. It's not difficult to extract them from the paper. I'm just trying not to rip the rest of them out. I've seen some people say that. Uh, Rather than like rip it out of the paper, you should cut them off with your little snips it's because you get glue on the end of the, on the end of the on the end of the things on the end of the leads, and as you put it through the hole, the glue gets in there. Well, this is true; it can happen, but like you know, you shouldn't really. Uh, I don't think you should worry about it too much because you just wipe off your finger. And these 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 wires are so thin in comparison to some uh, resistors you get. Now. Uh, you want to bend this so it goes in the hole. It's worth it's worth holding up against the hole. You get a gauge of how big, you have, how, how 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 much you have to bend it. I've seen some people do it this way, where they hold the uh, hold the resistor in the middle and then they bend the legs down like that, and then put it in. Do that. And in that case, that works pretty well, I think. Yeah. That size fits well. On other boards I've seen where the, where the pitch is a lot smaller, um, it, some can, it can sometimes be advantageous to like bend them individually like that. You get a narrower bend.
hasn't made a big difference on this board because this board is quite well uh, designed. Um, quite hard doing it with the uh, camera. <laughs> Okay, so those two are in. So you want to turn the board over, <laughs> and they all say about the thing about bending the wires because the they fall out like that. I don't think you should bend the wires. And you're better you're better off like trying to find a, a flat surface. And if you find it wobbles around a bit, um, get a bit of blue tack. Get a bit of blue tack, and just like you know. Do that so it holds the ball, holds the ball in place, and you can you can use your fingers and your uh, to hold the the rest of it in place. I don't feel my solder now is up to temperature yet. Okay, yeah, it is up to temperature. So I can like solder these. Uh, these first uh, three three ones, I can't even see that now. I should probably turn the light up a bit more. Throw it too bright for the camera. Make it white. So I got I got my my wire over here, and like uh, I keep it out of out of range, but like I keep a lot of like uh, solar. So I haven't bent the wires over. Some people bend them over at a certain angle, but. That just makes life a lot harder in the long run if you've ever removed them. So uh, press against there and oh damn! Okay, it isn't massively bent. We'll just do one each first. Okay. No, I'll just show that they haven't fallen out of position. They're still all flat to the board, as you can see. It doesn't matter that they swiveled slightly. Yeah, I'm just going to put uh, the blue tack is there just again, so I make sure that the board doesn't like uh, move, so it gives you like some certainty. So press your iron against the the pad and the lead, and. Just throw in a bit of solder. Just a tap. Oh, I can't even see where the other one is. Yeah, because the lights. That's it. Probably impossible to see that. Uh, we're not getting focus. But yeah, you don't need to have that much. But I always use a, a magnifying glass to kind of like have a, a bit of a check. Did I get it? Did I do them right? Yeah. So they're all done. And then uh, I'll clip those leads off and then uh, move on to the rest and repeat. <laughs> 